everyone I hope you're all really really well I have just finished my morning coffee in bed got one of my favorite mugs this morning um, which is my BFG mug which my lovely friend Layla got me and this cup kind of like makes me happy and sad every time I drink out of it because it reminds me of my dad I know that sounds really really random um, but so many people used to say that dad reminds them of BFG <laughs> So every time I drink out of this mug, I'm like... But yeah, it's currently Monday morning at the start to a brand new week. It's so bright in here this morning, which is so nice. It makes it so much easier to get up early when it's like really sunny and bright. So my loves, I have got an extremely busy week ahead of me. We also had a really, really busy non-stop weekend. We have been doing lots of Girl of Muse things um getting everything ready and yeah we just feel like we're absolutely non-stop at the moment um so this morning i'm gonna have like a little bit of a mini sunday i'm gonna do a little bit of spring baking which i'm really looking forward to um i have got a little haul to show you guys this morning um and i think i'm probably gonna vlog tomorrow as well because i've got quite a lot of work bits to do this afternoon i am very much looking forward to spending the day together as always but yeah it's time for me to get up get showered and get ready for the day new in bits from lounge underwear to show you guys this morning um i got everything delivered in a gift box this time because i thought it was really cute i feel like these will be great for not only gifts but also to kind of like have on display in a dressing room i think they're just so pretty um and you can get the gift wrap option for five pounds extra which i just think is really nice if you are ordering as a gift or if you just like it to look a little bit more fancy. I would like to say a big thank you to Lounge Underwear for sponsoring this section of the video. Um, I did a little new in lounge haul for their birthday sale. I feel like it was last month and you guys really loved it. So I thought I could show you some more of their new in bits today. I've gone for very spring summer colors, which, oh my God, they're just so pretty. So first things first, these pajamas are my favorite things on planet Earth. Honestly, I feel like I get a better night's sleep when I wear these pyjamas. They're just so soft and I really look forward to putting them on. So in my last haul, I showed you guys this same colour. So this is the mink pinstripe set. Um, but I got the top and shorts. This time I thought I'd get the oversized shirt. And with this, you actually get these briefs, which are so comfy. They're so high-waisted. They are the softest fabric ever. As you can see, they've got the lounge logo around the waist and they just go really, really nicely with this. This is my favorite thing to wear to bed. You just feel really free, but you still feel really comfy. The material of the pajamas and the shirt is amazing. It's so soft and lightweight and it'll be perfect for going into summer because it isn't hot at all. It's just the perfect thing to wear to bed. The pinstripe shirt is oversized. I actually got mine in an extra large because I like sleep shirts to just be really, really big. Um, and you've got a lovely collar, little pocket on the front, button detail all the way down. And then in each pinstripe is actually the lounge logo, which is so pretty. These two actually come as a set. So you get the pinstripe oversized shirt and also the briefs as well. And these are £50. Okay, next up, I have got a brand new loungewear set. Which this set is actually launching on the 30th of April at 7pm. And I love this so much. The colour, the fit, the fabric, everything is just amazing. Um, that is one thing I always say with lounge. It is a little bit maybe more on the pricey side but it's so worth it because the quality of everything is amazing and I have underwear that I've literally had for years and it's still in brand new condition and this set is called the luxury ribbed top and trouser set so this is the top it's like a really kind of like thick ribbed material it feels so nice but also feels really stretchy what I love about these loungewear sets is they can be worn together but they can also be mix and matched as well I love this sage green color as you can tell um it's one of my Tilly and Teddy have got the zoomies and they both just came running at me 
and it was actually quite scary. Both of them just came through the door like I love how I'm now in the middle of some kind of fight. I've got Tilly this side and Teddy that side, both like squaring up on each other. I'm just basically commentating a cat fight. cat fight but this actually also comes in a mink as well which looks beautiful and then the bottoms are a loose fitting high waist which i love so flattering and these are actually a wide leg trouser this material is amazing it's like it feels heavy and thick like it just feels like amazing quality and this set is actually made from organic cotton as well got little silver engraved drawstrings here the waistband feels really thick as well which i love i find like thick waistbands like this are really flattering because they don't dig in at all they just like sit in a really nice place also have the logo of the trousers just around here and then on the top you also have the logo here so when you wear them together they just look beautiful as a little cord also have pockets as well which you guys know i love and i just think this is a really really beautiful little set to wear around the house like i said you can mix and match the trousers and the top so the luxury ribbed top and trouser set is actually 55 pounds okay next up we have got a, another newbie which is launching on the 30th of april at 7 pm and i know i say this in every single lounge underwear haul but i feel like this is my favorite <laughs> because i love the color the fit looks amazing and that is the lace triangle set how pretty is this this is a super soft stretchy lace detail as you can see it's got really ditzy floral print on there which is so pretty so the lace triangle is a really pretty halter neck which goes into a racer back which is so nice it will look so nice with like a little vest top or a sheer blouse so you can kind of like see through your blouse to this i think that will look so pretty and then as you can see it's a triangle shape and it has this shiny logo here as you can see it says lounge and then it's got this really lovely bit at the bottom with bralettes i love them to have a little bit of a longer part here because if you are wearing a crop and you can see this at the bottom of the crop it just looks so pretty so this is the mustard color which is so beautiful it also comes in lilac teddy wants a look in. it comes in lilac hot pink and aqua but this is so beautiful and then these are the matching bottoms again so pretty so the beautiful lace triangle set is 35 pounds and like i said it is launching on the 30th of april at 7 pm also just wanted to mention as well when you order your underwear it will come individually wrapped in these lovely little bags, which I just think is such a lovely touch, especially if it is a gift um, and you get it in the gift box because you get tissue paper and stuff in there as well. It just makes a really, really lovely gift. So yeah, everything will come in these little bags. Okay, next we have the Lux balcony set in this yellow, which I've been waiting to get my hands on for the longest time. Um, but these sell out so quickly. So if you do see anything in today's haul that you like, be quick. They sell out really, really fast time i opted for lemon and white which is so pretty again all of the lace from lounge underwear is really really soft um so none of it is like itchy or irritable it just feels almost feels like you have nothing on um which i love it just feels so comfortable so this is the Lux balcony set which is 50 pounds these are the matching bottoms so pretty i love like the crossover detail of these and then as you can see you have the lounge branding here as well so the luxe balcony set comes in six different beautiful colors and so as you can see the bra actually has underwire which just gives you a really really nice shape and makes you feel really supported and then you've got quite a thick band on the bra as well which i love and of course adjustable straps and i love how the lace detail goes up the strap as well i think that's really pretty also lounge sell loads of different sizes as well so the bra size actually goes from a 30a to a 38g and then the bottom sizes go from an extra small to a double x so we've got one of my favorites which is the balcony set i've got loads of these and they're such a lovely fitting bra these are a little bit more of like a fuller cup than the luxe balcony as you can see and again super soft lace adjustable straps There's so many colors in the balcony set as well um there's actually 11 different colors which is amazing at this point teddy is like having a child he's just dragging my new underwear off 
the coffee table can you stop it so the balcony set is actually lounge underwear's first ever underwide set and underwire is usually like quite uncomfortable like it digs in but all of the bras from lounge that have underwire in just don't feel like you're wearing underwire and they are really really comfortable they sit in a really comfortable place um but this is the perfect bra if you're looking for something every day you want the support you want the comfort but you also want to feel really really nice then this is the perfect set for you like i said it comes in 11 colors so there's loads to choose from and these are the bottoms as you can see you've got the lounge logo across here nice thick like waistband as well which i think is really nice with underwear i feel like it's a lot more flattering than like a skinny kind of like waistband the balcony set is 50 pounds but this really is like an everyday essential and last but definitely not least in today's lounge hall i have the royal balcony to show you i don't actually have anything from the royal balcony range but it's so pretty so the difference between this one and the balcony one which i've just shown you is this actually has a little v at the front which i think is such a nice little detail again this is underwired really soft lace so it's in white because i just feel that you can't go wrong with white underwear especially in the summer under like i like to wear a lot of like white dresses and blouses in the summer so this is the perfect underwear set to wear under that royal balcony set comes in four different colors so you've got white black red and hot pink the detail about this bra that i love is it's got runch straps which i think are so nice they're really pretty and really different and this is a really stretchy lace as well and, and as you can see on the royal balcony the lace detail is slightly different to the balcony set let me just quickly show you that one so you can compare the thing i love about these bras as well this little bit of material here makes such a difference because usually bras kind of like end under the under the underwire and i think that's what makes them dig in by having this little part of elastic it just makes them so much more comfortable and i find they like stay in place and then these are the bottoms to the royal balcony set as you can see there's mesh detail as well as lace and you also have the elasticated waistband as well. That is everything I picked up from Lounge Underwear. As always, I will leave a direct link in the description box below. And I also have a discount code, which is Gemma 10, which will get you 10% off your order. So it is now lunchtime. This morning has absolutely flown by, but I've got quite a few things ticked off my to-do list, which makes me feel very happy and productive. Um, I also gave my hair a little blast on my Dyson Air Up. I use the round blow dry brush today and it's made it just really volumized and flicky, which was so easy. It literally took me about, God, like under five minutes. It was so quick. I've got quite a lot to do this afternoon, like work bits. I've got some content to shoot, I've got a reel to film and also some stories to film. So I felt like I just wanted to look a little bit less like Slick Rick, basically. Um, so I always find if I just do something nice with my hair, I can kind of like not wear makeup and still look a little bit more put together. I also fell down a little bit of a rabbit hole this morning, um, watching reviews on YouTube of this potential camera that I might be getting. Um, I currently use a Canon G7X, which I love. Like I love this camera so much, but it's the most temperamental thing in the whole world i've had so many of this camera like i always have to buy a new one because the screen becomes loose and i find as well after about five six months the autofocus just isn't great anymore um so i'm thinking of getting the sony v something um but it's basically like a vlogging camera it's made for vlogging so many people have it and their quality of their videos look unreal and also the microphone sounds really good so i think i might get that one i'm watching like videos where they test them side by side so i can really see the difference and the one thing i really really love about this camera is how bright it makes everything like it really does light up the background and i feel like with this camera it does make everything very like light and airy and crisp and with the sony camera it, it makes things a little bit a little bit less right i think i might get it and try it because the autofocus on it oh my god it looks amazing like this woman was like this and it just like focused on her hand straight away whereas this camera literally takes so long to focus on anything i might get it anyway enough camera talk i am about to do some baking which i've been so excited about i am making today a a little spring blueberry and lemon layer cake with with cream cheese icing um, my mum has been waiting for this cake for so long. I keep saying to her every week, I'm making my uh, lemon and blueberry cake tomorrow. And I've been saying it for about a month now. 
and she's like i'll believe it when i see it so i'll probably drop her around a slice a little bit later on and be like it happened yeah i thought i would save baking this for this vlog so we can do a little bit of spring baking together this recipe looks so yummy as always i'll link it down below first you need 230 grams of unsalted butter i always use stalk i find stalk just makes cakes so much more like fluffy um, whereas I find sometimes if I use butter it makes the sponge quite heavy it says that you need to whisk this until it's all creamy before you add any other ingredients so I'm just gonna whisk this up I wish this lead was longer it's like an iPhone charger I feel like I'm like <laughs> against the wall Okay, next you need 250 grams of granulated sugar. There's the granulated sugar and then you also need 100 grams of light brown sugar. Oh, I hate that when a massive lump falls out. Okay, and then you need to cream together the butter and sugar um, for two to three minutes with the electric whisk just so it becomes really like fluffy. <laughs> And then once your butter and sugars look like this, we need a tablespoon of vanilla extract. Pop that in there. And then we also need four large eggs and then we just need to mix everything together again. Okay, once all the wet ingredients are mixed together in a bowl, I'm gonna make a start on the dry ingredients. I was gonna use this bowl, but I know what's gonna happen. It's too small, I've done it before, and flour goes everywhere. So, I am gonna get out my big pink bowl. I always ask where these mixing bowls are from, so they like, go inside of each other. Um, my mum actually got these for my birthday a few years ago, and they were from Asda Living. Okay, next we need 354 grams of flour. That is a lot of flour. And then you also need a tablespoon, which won't fit in here, of baking powder. Oh, I don't know what to do. Oh, not that. I think that was about a tablespoon. And then you need to gradually add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. So I usually just pop a little bit in and then mix it and then a little bit in and then mix it until it's all mixed in. mixed up you need one cup of get to use my cat cups um of buttermilk which i never put in cakes but i know my mum often puts buttermilk in cakes and they turn out amazing so i'm just going to pop a cup of this in there which is pretty much the whole thing so that works out nicely it smells like gone off yogurt is this in day 26th of april oh my god it was meant to be so then you need the juice of two lemons and also the zest so let me get my grater i have no idea where it is because me and jamie always put it in different cupboards so it's either in this cupboard or that one before i juice these lemons i am just gonna get the zest off into the mixture i like to add a lot of zest into my any kind of lemon cake because i find Sometimes, if you don't add enough, it doesn't taste like lemon at all, and that's like the most frustrating thing. So I prefer it to be more lemony than not lemony enough. Then to squeeze the lemons, I'm gonna use this little device, which I got from Amazon, which is amazing. Um, you literally pop your lemon in, or lime, this way, and squeeze and it literally gets out all the juice i used to just do this by hand and it'd be so annoying because you'd never be able to get all of the lemon out um but oh that was not meant to happen let me just push that out <laughs> Once that's all mixed up, it literally smells amazing. It smells so zesty. Then what you need to do is add your blueberries, 
um, and also a tablespoon of flour. And then I'm gonna grease these probably with just a little bit of butter. Then I'm gonna pop the mixture in these and then pop it in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes. Um, I'll keep checking on it, but when it looks golden brown, I'll get it out of the oven. So the cake I'm making does actually have three layers, but I've only got two of these. So what I'll do is pop two of these in for 20 to 25 minutes. And then once they're out, I will wash one and grease it again and then pop the remaining mixture in another one. So we have three layers. Whilst the cake is in the oven, I'm actually gonna make the cream cheese frosting and then I'm gonna pop that in the fridge um, until the cake is all cool. So for the cream cheese frosting, you will need some full fat cream cheese. I like to use Philadelphia because I just think it has a really nice taste. So, so you need 224 grams of this. And then you also need 115 grams of unsalted butter. And then you need to whisk together the cream cheese and butter. And then once your butter and cream cheese are nice and thick and creamed together like this, you then need two tablespoons of thick cream. And then you need 420 grams of icing sugar. The um, recipe is actually American and it said confectioner's sugar. And I was like, what the hell is confectioner's sugar? Turns out it's icing sugar. Oh dear, I think my bowl's too small. <laughs> Might have to switch to a slightly bigger bowl. Also forgot to mention you need a little bit of vanilla extract in your cream cheese frosting. to get it out of its little tin so I could put the other one in and something bad has happened, look. <gasps> what should I do? Oh no, I'm sad. Should I scrape that bit off? What about this one? <gasps> oh, this one hasn't even come out. <gasps> Okay, this one's better, a little bit stuck, but nowhere near as much as the other one. Look how nice it looks though. Yum, this is the only problem, but I'm probably just gonna, I don't know, should I scrape that up and put that on? Mmm, yeah. Here it is. So, few errors that I've made today. Cream cheese frosting is a little bit too runny, so it didn't really go the way I wanted it to. Um, and it's not the neatest. So like the leaning 
Tower of Pisa. <laughs> Um, but I'm excited to see what it tastes like. I'm excited to cut it and see what it looks like in the middle. I also decorated it with some of these edible rose petals. I, I wanted some like edible flowers. My mum actually made my brother's wedding cake, which kind of looked a little bit like this, obviously a lot neater. And she put um, edible flowers on top and it just looked so pretty, but I couldn't get hold of any. But then I remembered I had some of these in the cupboard, which I think looks really pretty. I'm fully prepared to cut this and it all just fall apart but let's keep our fingers crossed oh oh god oh ta -da! oh my god that actually looks so good <gasps> so here's a little close-up of the inside of the cake yum and then this is what the slice looks like I'm so excited to try this. Okay, it's time for the taste test. It smells so nice. Yum. I kind of feel like it might taste like a giant blueberry muffin with lemon. Oh, what bit should I try? Mm. Oh my God, that's so nice. Mm. Just gonna put it out there this is the nicest cake i've ever made 100 percent. the blueberries have almost gone like a little bit like a jam they're so yummy and it doesn't taste anything like a blueberry muffin either the sponge is so bouncy and i also wasn't really too sure about the cream cheese frosting i thought it might kind of like ruin it in a way but it's really like subtle like you can't really taste it but then it's like this just extra creaminess oh my god it's so nice do you know what else is really lovely as well? The little rose petals, because they do obviously taste of rose. Um, and it just adds a little bit more. Oh my god. Please bake this cake. It's the nicest ever. So, after my little cake break, I might make a coffee as well and have coffee and cake. That's like one of my favourite things ever. After this, I am going to crack on with work for a few hours. I've got quite a lot to do today. Um, and I also need to plan an outfit for next Monday, as it's my birthday. Um, and we're actually going to Cambridge for the day, which is literally just up the road. And we're going to go on a little shopping day, have some nice lunch, have a little walk around. Um, we were actually going to go away for my birthday just for like the weekend, because obviously we can now. And I really miss like cute weekends away. And we were going to go to the Cotswolds, which is like one of my favourite places on planet Earth. But after kind of like thinking about it... The thought of going away was making me feel stressed because I know that we've just got so much to do at home um, with like the brand and our house and just in general, it's a really busy time. And I felt like we would enjoy it more later this summer when things are a little bit more settled. I know for a 100% fact we would end up going away and I'd end up just feeling very overwhelmed and like... I feel like I struggle to let myself have a nice time anywhere when I know that I've got things to do. Like I find it really hard to switch my mind off from the things that I should be doing. So yeah, I've decided to just do something for the day. So we're gonna go over to Cambridge, which will be really, really lovely. Um, I think I might vlog on my birthday. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, I'll see how I feel on the day, but it would be really nice to take you guys to Cambridge with us So I probably will do that. That day will be really nice I'm never usually much of a birthday person like I never really do anything major for my birthday um, I feel like I'm one of those people that just I don't know. I don't really I, not like I don't celebrate it because I do I just don't make a like big thing out of it. I don't know. Maybe it's just getting older. It just feels like another day. So I'm going to make a coffee, enjoy the rest of my cake, crack on with work probably for the rest of the day because it's two o'clock now. And I will catch up with you guys a little bit later.
Wednesday. We are up, we're ready, we are eagerly waiting to leave. Um, we are actually going over to our new house today to get measurements for each of the rooms, which will be really, really nice because that means we can then start planning furniture. I can design my walk-in wardrobe, which I've been far too excited about. Excited to have another like look around as well um, because we haven't seen the downstairs flooring like completely done and obviously like flooring makes a huge difference to a house so I'm excited to see what that looks like. Yeah, really, really excited. Just finishing my morning coffee and then we are gonna be leaving. <laughs> salad bowls, some spinach, some baby cucumbers. These are just so cute. We've also got some avocado, some barbecue chicken, and I also made my favorite um, tomato salad. This is so nice just to have in a salad or you can have it with dinner, like with chicken and stuff. It's really, really nice. And it's literally just baby tomatoes cut up with some basil, some mozzarella pearls, and then olive oil and pepper. So nice. like an eternity designing my wardrobe room i'm having so much fun i feel like i am living my absolute best life i feel like i am playing the sims i literally love it so much um but i'm very confused because i'm like the most indecisive person ever when it comes to things that are quite permanent um <laughs> and I have been fiddling about with this wardrobe for the longest time. I'm just sipping on some extremely cold coffee. We literally got this on the way back from the house earlier, but my cup leaked everywhere. You should have seen the little cup holders in the car. They were like half full with coffee. Um, so my car is gonna smell like coffee for a very long time now, so I had to put it in this cup, but it's lasted me all afternoon. This is option number one. So I'm gonna have my wardrobes in an L shape. So as you can see, this side has got doors on, and then this is the area that I need your help with. It'd be kind of nice to keep this side open. Um, I'm always in need of drawer space, so I thought I'd put loads of drawers here. I thought I could keep like makeup -y bits in here, because obviously I'm gonna have my dressing table in here as well. So I thought I could keep like makeup in here and like products and stuff like that. And then these drawers here could be for like underwear or like leggings. I don't really know how I'm gonna sort of organize it yet but I kind of wanted some bigger drawers here and then on top of here you can't really see but I've got one of those pulley out jewelry things to keep all my jewelry on and then these shelves here I thought would be really really nice for bags and then as you can see the rest of the wardrobe I have added doors or this is the second option here so same wardrobe but all with doors I kind of like the fact that everything is like behind the doors um 
because I do think sometimes having like wardrobes of no doors can look a little bit cluttered. So do I have all doors or do I have a little section? Which one do you guys prefer? Which one do you think would look nicest? My plan for this room is, so the door's here and the window is here. So my plan is, I think I'm gonna have like a really slim dressing table along this wall here. And I really wanna have like a little island as well, which I think will look really nice. I'm hoping there's space. I'm pretty sure there'll be floor space. So I'm thinking like an island here and then like a slim dressing table here. I've had so much fun <laughs> creating these wardrobes. I've gone all out because I've literally wanted these wardrobes for my entire life. I've never been able to have like a room that's just dedicated to wardrobes. Don't get me wrong, our wardrobe room here is good, but... I kind of have always wanted to build my own wardrobe so I can have like, I don't know, so I can customise it. But yeah, I've added lights in each one of these wardrobes, like at the top, so when you open it, a light comes on. I've also got like a little shoe compartment where these drawers come out that you can you can store all of your shoes. I put like the trouser rails in um, and like shelves. But yeah, I'm beyond excited just to have a really organised space. Um, can't wait for it to all come together. Can't wait for the vlogs. Can't wait for Jamie to build it. That will be... Um, a journey for him to be fair he is brilliant at building things like he really really is great at diy but he saw me doing this earlier and he was like that's a lot of wardrobes <laughs> that is a lot of flat pack good evening everyone it's a little bit later on in the day now um i have just been doing god what I, what haven't i been doing i feel like i've got so many things in my mind right now that are just oh my god i feel my head feels very cluttered i have been doing lots of girl of muse official launch prep um which is very exciting but we've just got so many things to think about um we actually booked a photo shoot location um which is happening very soon and oh my goodness it's the most beautiful location ever um and that's where we're going to get all of our like photos done for instagram and for the website of the clothing. If you guys have been following um, Girl of Muse on Instagram, you will have found out last week that Girl of Muse is actually a fashion brand, which we're so excited about. Um, so, so much has gone into this. Like, if you're ever thinking about um, launching your own fashion brand, there are so many things to think about constantly and, yeah, we're really excited. We're getting so close to the launch date now. Um, but yeah, I've just been kind of like making a list of all of the things that I need to organise for that day. Um, we are currently looking for models, which is really exciting. We want the models to be you guys. Um, so yeah, if you would like to be a part of our photo shoot, be a part of our launch, then I'll leave some information in the description box down below where you can apply to be a part of it but yeah a lot going on but all really really exciting stuff i've just booked a really amazing local makeup artist um sharp faces i'm sure if any of you guys are local you will know jess but i'm really excited to have her involved um i'm looking for a hairstylist and we've got a book of photographer as well um but we've got a few in mind for that so probably get that done this week it's an ice cream van oh teddy bear's picnic usually it's teddy bear's picnic what one is that is that teddy bear's picnic if you go down to the woods today be sure of a big surprise oh my god i can't think if you guys heard that noise just then was that teddy bear's picnic or not it makes me feel emotional when i hear the ice cream man because it just reminds me of my childhood. It just takes me back to begging my mum every single time I heard the ice cream man, which would usually be before dinner, um, and I wouldn't be allowed one, but it just reminds me of begging my mum for a Mr Whippy with a flake and strawberry sauce. Anyway, I haven't told you today's funny story. Jamie is currently out on a magical mystery tour. So, um, I decided to make myself an eBay account last week, which wasn't, wasn't my best move. Um, because as you guys know, I'm looking for a new coffee table and I wanted something that was like stony, marbly, cream, and I couldn't find anything anywhere. I thought, Do you know what? I'm going to have a look on eBay and eBay had so many great coffee tables. So it was in a bidding war. Um, haven't bidded on anything on eBay 
ever in my entire life so I didn't really know how it worked um, so I put an offer in my bid was the winner and I did that before I realized it was collection only and also before I realized it was in Nottingham so another error I made I thought Nottingham that's not far that's literally like 45 minutes up the road um, Dumbo here typed in Northampton instead of Nottingham um, so I was like to Jamie, oh, I just, I won a table on eBay and it's from Northampton. So he was kind of like, oh, bloody hell, that's like 45 minutes away. But he was willing to go and get it. Anyway, <laughs> he was like, earlier, should I go pick up that coffee table today? And I was like, yeah. So he rings the guy, the seller, and it was in Nottingham, which is actually an hour and 40 away. <laughs> so bless Jamie's had a little bit of a road trip to Nottingham today to pick up the coffee table so yeah Jamie should be returning with the coffee table within the next hour um but my loves that is going to go ahead and end this vlog I really really hope you have enjoyed it my plans for this evening are I'm going to watch the rest of Line of Duty um we started watching the new episode last night but I fell asleep halfway through because I was so tired we've been going to sleep at like nine o'clock recently it's ridiculous um, so I'm gonna finish that and then I'm gonna make some dinner and then probably get an early night um, But I will show you the coffee table when it's all like styled up and everything in the next vlog And yeah, I really really hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch up with you on Sunday Bye <laughs>